Okay, kids, here's your independent learning for today. Let's go ahead and start with Benchmark Advance. We're going to work on 13 and 14 today. Here we go. The name goes on the line. R controlled vowel. Write the R vowel word. Scare, pair, and chair. Handwriting practice, lowercase w and e. Don't forget, capital B. Trace them neatly. Context clues. Pick the meaning of the underlined word. Let's have a cookout in the backyard. Susie asked for directions, cookout and directions. Spelling, which is correct. How do you spell pear? Pear. Adverbs or adjectives. Read and sort the words. We got small, shyly, smooth, never, oval, or today. Adjectives here, adverbs here. A lot of times adverbs have an L-Y attachment, but not always. Remember, adjectives describe something comes after it typically. High frequency words, here are your choices. Every, could, Boy, let's go ahead and look at page number 14. All right, first thing, of course, write your name on the line. Our controlled vowel, Try the, draw the R vowel word for b, ch, and p, whatever those are. Handwriting practice, we got lowercase w and e and a capital B. Write the capital B three more times, same thing here and same thing here. Context clues, pick the meaning of the underlying word for tantrum and peering. Spelling, which is correct, hair, hair. Adverbs or adjectives, read and sort the words. You got yellow, early, boldly, little, thin, yesterday. Adjectives go here, adverbs here. Remember, adjectives always describe a noun, typically after it, okay? Adverbs have the L-Y a lot. High frequency words, here are some choices. Another, these, and out. All right, let's go ahead and look at January daily math there. We're gonna look at page 13 and page 14 today. All right, missing add-ins is after you write your name on the line. Color in the correct missing add-in here to see where it makes sense. Counting on, you got 13 plus something, 45 plus something, 37 plus something. All these represent one for each picture. Count by twos. Ooh, look, you're counting by twos, but it ends in an odd number. Be careful about that. Count before that and then after that, too. All the way through here, too, okay? True or false? True is in blue. False is in green for these. Hundreds chart, write the missing number for each picture below. Right in there. Plop it all in there. See if you can figure it out. Let's go ahead and go to 14. All right, looking at 14. On the name on the line. True or false? Color true if the problems are equal. Color false if they're not. All right, here we go. Uh, draw the hands. Hmm, 9.30. There's the hour, there's your minutes. Remember, hour hand, it's a short hand. Minute hands, longer. See if you can figure it out. Uh, let's go to months. Write the months that come next. February, March, blank. August, September, blank. Your choices are down here at the bottom, by the way. That's kind of nice to give that to you. Count backwards, here's 44, they want you counting down by ones. So you're counting down by ones even though they're going to the right, which looks weird. 44, 43, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Time, color AM or PM for when that activity would probably take place. You have a bedtime snack at 7.30, either AM or PM. Subtraction, complete the chart below, subtract by four. Expanded form, write the expanded form for each number. 84, 50, Seven. And finally, add your two-digit numbers, 42 plus 37, 62 plus 3. Well, guys, that is your independent learning today. I'm glad you guys were listening. Hope you have a wonderful day. Make sure you use Dreambox for 30 minutes, Razkids for 30 minutes, and read for 30 minutes from a good fit book. All right, guys, have a wonderful learning day.